if not we've got quite a few countries that we can mill around in and get a European passport but yeah. we've been told there's no problem getting European passports and we all of ours have yeah, got European passports. Yeah we swapped, it's complicated but we swapped two of ours onto European passports anyway. Um, but yeah the checks that have just been done here we have seen some people having x-rays and stuff done. And from what we've just been through, we don't know for sure, but it looks like if you go the lorry way, you're gonna get x-rayed. If you go the car way, yes. you don't. But I, we don't know if that's 100% No, that's what it looks like, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so um, we always go the car way because we're not a lorry. Yeah. So. But we're happy. Watch. We're we're through, we're back in Greece. Very happy. We've had six weeks um, in Turkey, which we've thoroughly enjoyed. Yeah, we would probably have stayed longer, but finding Lenny changed things. And to be honest, we're at a point where we just wanted to get a uh, moving onwards. And yes. we're just relieved now. We're out. We've got her out of Turkey, which was a first hurdle. And now we can relax for a bit. Smooth sailing. Go and get a coffee, I reckon. Yeah, get, get coffee. <laughs> Greeks can do coffee, can't the they? The Greeks know to do how to do a coffee, yeah, they do. So. We've been asked several times about what is required for the animals to enter Turkey. Yeah. So, go on. So, Turkey doesn't recognise the three yearly vaccine for rabies that the UK gives. So, obviously, they recognise the vaccine as such, but the UK will accept it, will give you three years until you need another booster. Turkey want to see that every year. So that's one thing to look out for. And they also need a tighter test to get in. As a lot of people will tell you from their own experiences, no one checks anything. No. The only place we have ever had a check done on the animal passports has been UK to Calais and Calais to UK. Now we've just come out from Turkey again into Greece and they're not interested. And we've got an extra on board. And we've got an extra on board. They're not interested straight through. Um, to be honest, it was our passports. They didn't even check the kiddies against their passports. So yeah, it's just passports. Oh, and the V5 for this and the monkey. monkey bike. But other than that, it was um, more straightforward than getting into Turkey, wasn't it? Yeah, because we didn't have the insurances or anything to worry about, did we? No. So, yeah, there you go. So, I'm having a wander down the vets now to see if, well, in fairness, we parked there on the way down here. They will change it, but they were then going into surgery. So, they're going to issue us an EU passport for Lenny now. Um, and it's 20 euros to get it done. So everyone that asks, how do you get it a passport? It's the first vets we've come back into Greece. It's the first vets we've been into. Never been in there before. Asked if they'll transfer a non-EU passport to an EU passport. You actually showed her and she looked at the passport, yeah. didn't she? And she said, yeah, 20 Happy euros. Days. So I'm yeah. now gonna go and get that done. See you in a bit. Yay. Very relaxed puppy. And a very relaxed Cooper. Both of them are just chilling out in Greece. Ah, lovely. We get asked a lot about travelling the, the animals and the pet passport and animal health certificates. And we, before Brexit, got all of our animals an EU passport and keep that up to date with their rabies jab in Europe. Um, obviously now Lenny. And we'd heard rumours that a lot of vets were stopping issuing EU passports to English people and stuff, but for 20 euros, we've just, I've just walked down to Alexandropoli, which is our first stop again after coming out of Turkey, and they're more than happy and very thorough in filling you out an EU passport to replace, in this case, a Turkish one. But I did ask, and they're happy to issue in favour. 20 euros. For 20 euros. And they're lovely, lovely people, wouldn't they? Yeah, we're happy. But it, it does seem simple enough. Just as easy as it was. And it was 20 euros, and it was 20 euros it, two years ago yeah. for us to get the um, 
it wasn't the boys, was it? It was, it was uh, Topsy and Milo. Milo and Topsy. So yeah. we've got one Greek animal and he travels on a French passport. All of our other animals that are not Greek travel on Greek passports. It's complicated. <laughs> there is a story behind it, but we're not going to go yes. into that. <laughs> we're there. Lenny woke us up bright and early this morning for a wee and I think she didn't actually go for a wee I think she just wanted to show us the sun coming up over Turkey so yeah morning <laughs> I do love a sunrise though yeah the sun like, sorry go on everyone goes on about sunsets but sunrise is like you get it to yourself you do it's a much quieter time of day isn't it sunset last night was quite nice very red um, but it was very busy on the beach wasn't it yeah yeah it's a national holiday so yeah I don't know so there's actually nobody here this morning and the sea's very calm it's definitely cooler it's lovely isn't it no one about it's lovely 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 